Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss our helpful videos that are going to help you. Today's helpful video is coming up right after this. Ostracised from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Anxiety can be caused by a range of things Such as a mental illness A physical condition The effects of taking drugs Or a combination of these things The mental illnesses that can cause anxiety Are panic disorder Generalised anxiety disorder Phobic disorders and stress-related disorders. In this video, we are going to look at that can cause anxiety. Number one, stress from work. If you're overworked, work for long periods without taking breaks, find it difficult to do or complete your work, have a long or stressful commute to work, or don't get along with your co-workers, then this can cause you to suffer from anxiety. Number two, stress from school. Revising for your up and coming exams, putting pressure on yourself to achieve certain grades. Not having many friends at school or being bullied at school can cause you to suffer from anxiety. Number three, relationship or marriage problems. Not getting along with your partner anymore arguing constantly with your partner or constantly worrying that your partner is cheating or having an affair on you can cause you to suffer from anxiety. Number four, dealing with losing a loved one. If you have recently lost a family member or someone who was extremely close to you, you will know just how difficult this can be to come to terms with, let alone get over. It's an emotional roller coaster of crying, thinking about them, picturing all the good times and memories with them, and heartbreak. This can lead to anxiety. Number five, financial worries. If you're struggling to get by month to month, constantly worrying about how you're going to pay your bills, pay your rent, pay for your car, pay for your lifestyle, eat, or just survive, then you will know just how stressful this can be. You're constantly living in a state of fear and you're constantly worrying, which can lead to anxiety. Number six, side effects of medication. If you're taking any form of medication, it could trigger your anxiety. If you look at the back of your medication or in the box that your medication came in, or even speak to the doctor who prescribed your medication in the first place, you might be surprised to find out that the majority of medications out there have side effects from taking them. And one of those side effects could be anxiety. Number seven, symptoms of a medical illness. If you've had a heart attack, suffer from hyperglycemia, or have had a heat stroke, you could develop an anxiety disorder. Certain medical illnesses cause anxiety. So if you suffer from a medical illness, I would highly recommend you speak to your doctor. Anxiety can cause a range of symptoms, including chest pains. But chest pains are also symptoms of other conditions. And chest pains could be a sign of a heart attack too. So always seek professional help if you are having any sort of symptoms, just to make sure that you're okay. If you think you might be suffering from an anxiety disorder or need help with your anxiety, there is a link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately and begin to get help for your anxiety. The link is in the description box down below. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section. Have you ever been diagnosed with an anxiety disorder before? If you have, what anxiety disorder have you been diagnosed with? I have been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, 
and I also suffer from frequent panic attacks too. I want to hear what anxiety disorders you suffer from, so comment them in the comment section down below right now and let's show other people in the world that they are not alone. If you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful and useful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health for more videos on anxiety like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all again in another video.